peace everybody this is all for reborns and I've got your little niece winter here with me and I'm doing this video because I want to give you guys an update on her hair so without let me first let me slow down winter looks a hot mess you guys just so you know she looks a little crazy because her hair is not done so I'm gonna reveal to you the progress of where she is I'm gonna let you guys kind of see how I'm going about rooting her hair and trim a little bit of what I have so let's get right into it ready and ooh la la <laughs> this is winter so I you can see I've got a little patch done in the front and then I started along the back with a little patch now before you guys go hit up the comments about how it's too long I am cutting this but it's just that while I'm rooting it I haven't really seen the point in cutting it yet but I'm gonna trim it a little bit now because I want you guys to kind of see where I'm going. So the mohair I'm using, I've been using this Slumberland nursery mohair and it's like a wavy curly. This is pretty much what I have left and so I ordered a little bit more because I don't want to run out. So my goal today is going to be to finish at least this side over here of her hair. And then I figure I probably have a few more days ahead of me, but if I buckle down, um, I should be able to get a lot more in um, tomorrow. So um, I'm trying to make her look like the prototype. And here's a picture of the prototype. So as you can see in the corner of your screen, that's what I wanted Winter to look like when I got her. She looks slightly different because of course an artist can't duplicate their work, like no artist can. That's why it's handmade art, but she was pretty close. But her hair was a lot lighter than I wanted it to be and so that's why I'm using this black and I think it's gonna look so nice on winter. So um, anyway, let me just show you guys me trimming her a little bit. I don't wanna trim too much because if I cut too much, I can't put any on. And when and there, here's a tip for you guys with your reborns. If you're an artist or you want to cut your doll's hair, I used to cut my hair a lot when I was a teenager, and so I I feel like I know a lot about haircuts. And I always cut it in a layered way, where my notice how my hand is slanted, right? I'm not giving her like a blunt cut where it's all going to be the same length here. That's like a no-no with haircuts. So I'm making it kind of slanted so it, it just looks more natural because that's kind of how our hair grows out of her head. I'm going to give it a little bit of length because I usually don't cut the hair till I'm done. But I just want to show you guys. Just let you guys get a little bit closer so you can see this action. And Winter has hair all over her face and all over her body right now. Sorry, that's... But that's just what it's like when you're rooting a doll made of silicone. Hair gets everywhere because I don't know how to take off her um, head. Nor do I want to. I feel like it'll be a big mistake for me to take off her head. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'll cut some more. So hopefully you guys can see where I'm headed and I'll probably cut even more but I don't want to get too scissor happy yet I like to see what it's gonna look like so yeah you guys have to picture like picture hair all over her head and so on the sides here I'm gonna go back I'm gonna be rooting backward making it look like it did on a prototype picture and I'll give you guys like a little example of me rooting her too, so you can see how I'm doing it. Because with silicone, there's no gluing on the inside, so you have to go a little deep with your needle. All right, so here's a little bit of the mohair that I was working with already. And looks like this is quite a bit of hair actually. Comb it out a little bit on the ends. And I'll just start right here where I was 
and I'll just poke, poke, poke. And I'm going deep in their in her head. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's how I've been rooting her. I make sure it's kind of spread out thin so that I'm not getting like big chunks of hair. But I, I really don't care if her hair is rooted like that to be honest because because I feel like this hair comes out so easily. So I'm trying to be generous with her mohair. So I hope this gives you guys an idea of why it's taking so long for me to root her because I know I've been getting comments like where's winter yeah that's why rooting takes a long time because I don't do YouTube full-time so I got to go to work I got to take care of my kids I want to keep making videos and I don't want to be rooting her all day and all night but I, I really want to get done because I miss having her in my videos guys I really do and I don't want to do a video with her like this like that's not even fun but yeah maybe if I like comb it over there anyway it's gonna look so different than this this is why I don't like doing work in progress videos because I feel like the vision I have in my head it's hard for me to show that to other people like it's just hard because you guys don't see the same thing I see so just trust that it's gonna look good and I'm going like I said I'm going for the prototype look of her and anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this update I know you guys have been wondering about her and it's been about a week since you saw her in a video so this is your niece and I'm gonna go and get started on rooting her more hair so thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> if you can't tell I have a little cold that I'm getting over <clears throat> so I'm gonna go drink some more tea too but thank you guys so much for watching winter misses being in the videos and we miss you guys and pretty soon she'll have a head full of hair I know she probably doesn't want me to cut it because she wants to be like Beyonce but yeah she better enjoy that little length while she can look it's all the way down her back cuz uh I'm cutting that all the way up here. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be blessed, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace and love, everybody.